Well, it's now time for our grape nuts compression, grape nuts mortar compression test. And as you can note, uh, we have allowed the grape nuts mortar to age and cure long enough for me to grow whiskers. So uh, note here that we have a, a generous uh, patina on the grape nuts mortar and that it has been allowed to cure under water, which should be optimal for most mortars to gain their full strength. And this should have its full strength at this time. And now we're going to do the compression test. Aha! Yes, it compresses. Ah. Gotta get that last little... Ugh. There we go. And now I will go get one of the other mortar samples that we have been having uh, prepared for us for, you know, sitting out up there on the picnic table all these months and through the winter. Be right back. Let's see now, that last mortar sample was the 100% grape nuts and now we're going to have uh, the type N grape nuts as you may recall. This was not the one that we set on fire, ah, but it is substantially compressed. Yes, ah, yes, oh no, that is the one that had, that was the one that was mixed with the gasoline, now I remember. Okay, hold on here. We'll get some more. Let's set our samples out here. This one, uh, this one I think is the type N. Uh, yeah, well next time you do this, make sure to label everything. Get the leaves out of it. I remember back in uh, the early part of the spring, I had to get the mold off of some of them. I've not seen too much mortar with mold on it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, hey, yes, look at that. Oh, wow, yeah, this is the one that was, whoops, made with marble dust, Ooh, look at that, look at that perfect mortar, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh yes, oh gosh, oh, it's not very much for impact, is it, ah, compression, 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 whoops, miss, 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 Come on, compression, compression. Oh boy. Ah, yes. And that is the end of our demonstration. Thank you very much. Bye.